Okay, so this is kind of a two-part video. This is the first part where we're going to be talking about working with slab edges on sloped slabs. There's essentially a limitation in Revit when it comes to sloped slabs and applying slab edges to them. And this is essentially the workaround. So just to show the problem first, what I'll do here is I'll uh, go ahead and apply some slab edges. And this, this floor happens to be perfectly flat and no problems. I can add those without any difficulty. All right, so let's just undo maybe the last, well, we'll just undo the whole thing. And then what we'll do is we'll slope the slab. And I'll do a slope arrow to accomplish that. So I'll just place this here. And that should be fine. Then go apply a typical slope to the slab edge. And let's just make it one degree. I won't do a rise over run. We'll just use that instead. And then finish the slab. So now the slab is sloping. If I try to use this tool again, slab edge tool, notice that as I hover my mouse over the sloped edges, uh, since these are flat, the, the two ends here, I can apply them here, but I cannot apply slab edges to the sides of the slab that is sloped. Well, that's a lot of S's. Anyway, the point is we need to be able to do this, so what I'll do here is I'll undo the slab edges that I've applied so far. And essentially, what you'll have to do is you'll have to remove the slope arrow. So chances are you've already got the slope arrow applied. So what I'd do is I'd just cut it out and then finish it so this, the slab is flat again. And then use the slab edge tool and then apply slab edges as I normally would. Edit the slab then paste that slope arrow back in there and then finish it up and the slab edges are now part of a, a sloping slab.